What is good, everybody? So I wanted to drop this real quick. Um, I actually thought it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, the, you know, my son, I've been, he's, uh, he's nine. I've been getting him into a lot of things, been getting him into some crypto investment, been getting him into a little bit of trading. Uh, our latest thing that we've been doing is a little bit of crypto mining. Um, and uh, we've, we've actually in the process of building out a raven coin uh, a raven coin mining operation if you will so and we'll probably do a video of us putting that together when everything comes together uh, but in in kind of cahoots in trying to uh, mine raven coin which if you guys don't know about the raven coin project i firmly believe in it i've been buying raven coin probably for like the last year um, i i own a, a pretty good amount of coins on it uh, but one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to add on a separate peripheral that allowed myself to create a node for the Ravencoin blockchain. And uh, probably about two years ago, two Christmases ago, I actually bought my son a Raspberry Pi and I wanted him to go through it and learn how to code computers. Now, by no means am I a IT person whatsoever, um, but obviously, you know, being being at the age I am, I knew that I had to pick up some computer stuff in order to properly do what I what I do um, in the investment in the crypto in the trading side of my business. Uh, what I did want to do though is, especially for those of you that have a Raspberry Pi just laying around, I had two of them, um, and. Um, you know, if this is something that you just kind of want to play with, if you want to use this as a teaching tool for your kids, if you want to do it, if you're a teacher and you want to incorporate this into your classroom, I think this is a really good opportunity. I mean, they're they're dirt cheap. You can buy these things for like 20, 25 bucks. Uh, but essentially, that's all it is. It's a Raspberry Pi. The one I got my son, a little kit like this, came with the keyboard, came with a, an HDMI cable. Um, you can add all kinds of attachments to it. Like he's got these, uh, these LED lights that he can code it so that it changes colors and all that. Um, it comes with uh, USB 2.0 hubs, comes with USB 3.0, comes with a one gig ethernet. Uh, so right now what we have is I have uh, both of the ones, the both Raspberry Pis that we have. Um, I just have them running right off ethernet into my, uh, into my, uh, into my router. So what I wanted to do was kind of just go through and, uh, you know, you can buy these on Amazon. They're pretty darn cheap. Okay. Um, so I, I wanted to go through and just show you exactly how to do, how to set this up. This, this probably takes all of 15 minutes. Again, it's something I think it's pretty cool. You could do with your kids. Uh, the first thing you need to do, and I'll, I'm going to drop these links in the video. Um, you know, at the end, you guys can go through and, and take a look at it. Very self-explanatory. You just go over to the raspberry.org website. You go to software. And what you need to do is you need to download the imager. All right. Uh, really, really simple. You know, I'm, I, you know, most of you guys, if you guys follow me, you know, I run a Mac. So I'm going to do everything from my Mac. Okay. Um, and you'll see here, uh, bear with me here. Hold on. Let me just set my AC down. If you guys know how I run my Zoom calls. There we go. Um, so yeah, absolutely. What you can see here is uh, is the imager. So if you're running a Windows, you're gonna you're gonna ultimately download it. It's gonna self populate that it's gonna be on the Windows side. Uh, for me, I downloaded the Mac OS. So once that downloads and installs, and it's pretty simple just to get it. You know what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop open your imager, right? Out of this imager, it's going to be very self-explanatory. All right, uh, choose, choose the operating system. Now, it's it's totally up to you. Um, I could tell you that I picked up a micro SD card for, I think, like twelve dollars, one hundred and twenty-eight gig uh, Samsung uh, Pro Plus, one hundred twenty-eight gig off Amazon. You know, I'm sure you might have these laying around. Uh, I only bought one because the other one I took out of an old camera I used to use. And uh, what you want to do is you want to come over here to the other Raspberry um, OS-based images. You don't need a desktop environment for these, right? So you do the light, click on it, and then you choose your storage. So whatever storage it's going to be, right? Uh, in this case here, you know, I've got some external storages. I don't have the actual SD card plugged in because I just, I already did this. This took about 20 minutes to, to format and to install. So just to speed it up. 
Uh, you would have it plugged in via either a SD card reader if you're using a computer that has an SD card reader, or you know you can get just a USB card reader that you plug the micro into. All right. Uh, the one thing I will say though is what you want to do is you want to go into the um, into the settings of this, right? And I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. So what you're going to hit to get into the settings, you're going to hit com control, shift, and X, right? Control, shift, and X. And what you want to do is you want to enable SSH, right? Go ahead and just put a password in and hit save. That's simple. So control, shift, and X brings you into the advanced options. You're going to go ahead and enable SSH and then just put a password in, right? Uh, and then you're going to go ahead, once that's in, just hit right. All right. So once you hit right, it's going to take about 20 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is, how fast the writing is on the micro SD. Once you get that, right, once you get that done, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my sons right now because we actually did the other Raspberry Pi yesterday, and it was, it was actually pretty simple. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to identify what your Raspberry's IP address is. Uh, for me, just I logged into my router. I could see it's labeled Raspberry Pi. So I knew the IP address, right? The next thing you need to do, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this link here, you got to get on GitHub. Uh, there's a, uh, this guy's already done a really good job for a Ravencoin node, and it's pretty simple. You're just following the information, okay? Actually, is my... Um, bear with me here. Let me take off. There we go. There we go. Uh, you just follow the information here, right? So the very first thing we got to do is we got to open up terminal. Okay, I'm going to open up terminal here, and here's my terminal. Um, and now I need to log into my Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to type in. Right, I'm going to type in SSH Pi at the uh, IP address for that uh, specific Raspberry Pi that I'm going to do. Okay, so there it is. It's in there. Um, it doesn't, uh, it's the first time I'm setting it up. So it doesn't recognize it. So you just have to hit yes. And now that password that I put in in the advanced options for the SSH, I have to put that password in. So type in your password and there it is. Right. So now we're into the Raspberry Pi. All right, from there, what we're gonna do is we are just going to simply follow, and let me just move this over. Oh, there we go. Let me just move this over, come on. There we go. And I will bring over Raspberry Pi over here. Perfect, there we go. So what I need to do now is just copy and paste, right? You're gonna go ahead and you're going to copy this entire line right here. All right, so your first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here and it's going to be a wget. Just paste it in. It's going to run its thing. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to do a wget with this one right here. All right, copy and paste it. There we go. All right, next, you want to enter in these, uh, these executable files, right? So you're going to come in here, just copy and paste. That's all it is. It's, self, it's pretty self-explanatory. The second one you're going to do right here, copy and paste. All right. Um, after that, you, what you want to do is you want to start this process, right? So you're going to come in here to install the node. All right. And it says the first thing it's going to do is do an update upgrade of the Raspberry Pi if I wish to continue and click yes. OK, so this may take depending on how old or the last time you updated anything, it's going to take a little bit to do that. Right. So as it's going through, you can see we are almost done with it. Yep. And yes, you want to hit Y for yes to continue. And again, so on this on this particular Raspberry Pi, I'm running a, I believe it's a 64 gig micro SD card. The one we set up last night, 128. Let it run through its thing. It's updating. It's installing the actual Raven uh, coin node.
And again, this is something that you do not need to have attached to a display. I don't need a keyboard. I'm running everything from my Mac. Um, and it's pretty cool. You know, um, we actually are contributing to the Ravencoin ne uh, blockchain network um, by uh, es essentially just establishing what's going on on the blockchain. We're con conducting those transactions. You don't make any money from a node, right? But what I am going to be going to be able to do is because I am contributing to that node, the miner that I'm going to be setting up is actually going to be able to make just slightly a little bit more money. These uh, Raspberry Pis take absolutely no power. Uh, not really that I'm concerned with power anyway. I'm on solar power. My house is is got plenty of solar panels on the side that it powers enough for my entire house, uh, which is one reason why I'm I'm starting to get into some mining of crypto. Um, but it, I, again, it's just something cool. It's something cool that to get my my kids involved into cryptocurrency. You know, and it's just something that he's able to now log into terminal. He could see exactly how many, um, you know, how many um, coins have been uh, essentially the, on the node have been created. Um, and, and again, it, you know, it's something that's, you know, we had lying around and to contribute to the network, uh, especially something that we mine and make money off of anyway. You know, it's, it's, it's getting, you know, something giving back. So if you guys are definitely interested in learning more about nodes, you know, definitely there's tons of information on the web. Uh, you can get on YouTube. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. Um, yeah. And like I said, once this is done, I'm going to show you now the next step. Okay, so now it is finally done. And now what we need to do, it says first thing uh, we need to do is download the latest version of Ravencoin Demon, which uh, and then which version do you want to download? And this is the actual latest version. So four, oh, so four point three, two, one is the latest version. So just go ahead, enter. It's downloading the files and extracting. Um, again, this should take relatively quick amount of time. You see, it's just going through there right now. All right, and now it's assigning the local binary for access across the users and removing the zip drive that was installed on that, okay? Once that's done, the last thing you need to do is pretty simple, right? This is going to be, and it's the last point in that, uh, that github.com site. It's gonna be very quick. Uh, you're just going to check the status. So you can see here, congratulations, you've upgraded the Ravencoin node. Thank you for supporting the network. Type Ravend and to start up the node, right? So just go ahead and copy that. Put that in here, right? And hit enter. So now it is doing its thing, right? Um, I'll tell you right now, this is probably going to take, I, I did this last night with him last night. We went to bed. We woke up in the morning. Um, and honestly, it was it was already running. So give this a little bit. You can see that you can type in uh, forward slash zero two underscore check underscore status dot sh to check the status of your blockchain. And let's go in here and throw it in. And you'll see that there is no such file or directory because it's still loading, right? So just let it do its thing. Uh, we did do the Raven and so give it time to install it. I will tell you this, that, um, you know, I said we, we did the one yesterday. Let me throw in the one we did yesterday, right? And you will see, give me one second. Let me open up just another terminal. All right, so we're, we are going to close this one out. We'll open up another one, all right? And I'll just show you the one that we did yesterday. So fibs and profits, let me throw in SSH, the other IP address. And I use static IP addresses with these. That way, you know, I know that the, what the IP address is always going to be on it. Here we are. And again, all I need to do is that forward slash 02 or 02, I guess, uh, underscore check, underscore status dot sh and uh oh my bad hold on i guess i did it on the wrong one uh bear with me here one second all right so let's see we've done it now on the right one and give it a second because it's checking the status you could see bear with it normally it takes a couple seconds and then it will pop in 
here we go. So you can see that the block count, uh, we started out with zero yesterday. So we're already at 16,460. We have our timestamp. We have been active now for about 15 hours and 57 minutes. Uh, so currently we are running uh, the active node on the one we did last night. And the one that we did today, uh, give it, I'm going to give it about probably about an hour, hour and a half to update the directory. And then we have our fully functional Ravencoin node. So again, something cool to do, especially with your kids, if you have these laying around. Uh, also, you know, if, if you don't and you want to contribute to the Ravencoin blockchain network, um, you know, these are extremely simple to put in. Uh, they, they, put off no heat whatsoever, use absolutely no power. Um, the most you're going to be out is probably if you're buying it from scratch on Amazon, you could probably pick these up for like 30 bucks with everything, the kit included. You don't need a monitor. You don't need a keyboard, um, you know, uh, and essentially, you know, you are, uh, again, contributing to the network, to the blockchain itself. And, you know, you're, you're, you know, doing something to get back. So with that in mind, Hopefully you guys uh, definitely pick some stuff up out of it. Um, I know I had fun with my son doing it. Um, you know, he definitely enjoyed, you know, learning how to one use terminal, how to code it in. Um, you know, he ended up, uh, we, we got a little, uh, a little LED kit, LED kit for his node. Uh, so he went in uh, and we uh, we started to uh, program those, uh, those LED lights so that, um, you know, in the, uh, you know, it's, it's on his desk. He has it set up. Um, and, uh, you know, it's cool. It's something that you, uh, you, you kind of forget sometimes, um, you know, how to involve your kids into this stuff. So with that being said, enjoy. Glad you guys enjoyed this quick little video and uh, catch you guys on the charts, man. Have a good one.